So, today, we are going to do something a little bit different, slightly different setup as well, just to see how it goes. Mm. Now, today, I shall be asking you some questions. Let us begin. I believe I have a pen in a pocket, which I do right here. Now, we shall begin with simple what is or what are your favorite style. So, what is your favorite color? Mm. A nice, easy question to begin with. Are you a blue person or perhaps a red person? Or perhaps you're a purple person. Mm. Now, what is your favorite word? Mm. Perhaps you're particularly fond of a elaborate word or Perhaps something a little more simple. Mm. Perhaps it's sort of an in-between word that would be possible as well. That would be a good choice. Now, what? Is your favorite shape? Hmm. Are you a square person? Perhaps a round person? Perhaps oblong? Or diamond? Hmm. Something more obscure that I don't know the name of. Where are we? Word shape. So what is your favorite season? Mm. Your favorite season. suppose this one's a little bit easier. You only have four to choose from. And what is your favorite time of day? Hmm. I suppose once again this sort of becomes a um, only really four options. You could be a morning person, an afternoon person, an evening person, or a night person. Hmm. And still, I suppose it could be early evening or late afternoon. You could have late morning. Early afternoon, late afternoon, early evening, late evening. Mm. There are subdivisions of this. But what is your favorite film? Now this is somewhat more challenging. You have to think of all the 
films, or perhaps it is in fact a very easy choice. For some people it is, for me it is not. As I find it tends to be uh, quite mood dependent. Sometimes you're feeling a certain sort of film for that sort of mood, but, but, yeah, I suppose, actually, the more I think about it, there's something about something funny that always seems appropriate. If you feel good, funny stuff is good. If you feel a little blue, funny stuff is good. So, hmm. I mean, that doesn't determine a favorite film. But perhaps that thought process helps you to kind of divide it down to something. Hmm. But. So da, 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 da. Yes. So what is your favorite day of the week? Hmm. You only have seven to choose from, and six really, because nobody likes Mondays, even as someone that does not conform to a conventional week, I still don't really like Mondays, there's something about them. That was favorite day of the week. So what about your favorite type of music? Hmm. I suppose this could be a favorite genre of music. It sort of depends really how you like to divide what you consume. So, Eva would be adequate. And what about your favorite artist? Now, this could be a musician, of course, or it could be a painter or any form of artist. Hmm. I feel, for me, I would have to pursue the, uh, the musicians as, as the, as the artists. I can enjoy a good painting, but it's not quite the same. So, what is your favorite author? Mm. I mean, that is, of course, if you do uh, read. I mean, maybe you don't. Maybe you do not have a preference for an author. Most people tend to have a preference for film, but not necessarily an author. And on that subject, what is your favorite book? Hmm. Perhaps you're a fiction sort of person, perhaps you're a non-fiction sort of person, or perhaps it's more of a reference guide, or perhaps it's a simple, humble 
instruction manual. Hmm. So what is your favorite book? And now, I know we've already discussed film, but just to bring it back for one moment, what is your favorite Disney movie? Yes, specifically a Disney movie. I feel the vast majority of us have one, be it as... Um, from childhood or whatever it may be. Which or what is your favorite Disney movie? Hmm. Or film, perhaps you prefer to say film, perhaps you prefer to say movie. Hmm. And now, a slightly more obscure question. What is your favorite surface to walk on? Hmm. Your favorite surface to walk on. Perhaps you enjoy to walk upon leaves, upon snow. Perhaps you can walk on water. I don't know. I'm not here to judge. I am just here to ask. And that does indeed bring us to the end of the what is your favorite batch of questions? And now we move on to do you prefer style questions? It's sort of a this or that kind of questions. So, do you prefer hot or cold. Do you prefer the hot or the cold? And this is referencing the weather. Mm. Or just temperature in general. I mean, the temperature is generally dictated by the weather. But And now, do you prefer hot or cold food. Hmm. Is there a correspondence to the weather preference? Or perhaps not at all. But do you prefer hot or cold food? Hmm. Now, do you prefer the day or the night? Do you prefer the day or the night? Hmm. Do you prefer books or films? Now, this is not necessarily uh, film adaptations of books. This is just in general. Do you prefer books or films? Hmm.
I feel the majority of people would choose films. I feel there's something... I feel there's an extra level with films. Obviously, you have the visual aspect, and then you have the audio aspect as well, and it all just becomes uh, a different sort of... Uh, multi-tiered experience. Hmm. Along those lines, do you prefer to go to the cinema or to watch said film at home? Hmm. Do you prefer the cinema or at home. Yes, and I feel the answers for this would change greatly since the just abundance of streaming platforms that it's no longer a necessity to leave your home to watch something new. Now, do you prefer tea or coffee? Hmm. Are you a tea sort of person or are you a coffee? sort of person. Mm. I suppose the tea could also be herbal teas and the likes. Although generally when the question's asked it's sort of more like traditional tea. Do you prefer live music or pre-recorded music? Once again, similar to the cinema. Well, and at home question is, would you rather see a live performance in person or consume the music at home on whatever platform or media that you use. Hmm. I feel there's always something a little bit special about the uh, live performance that that uh, doesn't quite exist in the uh, studio version, but the studio version is always exactly the way they want the song to be. So it's uh, an interesting balance, obviously the obviously the true talent of a musician shines through in live performance, but Sometimes the full depth of the song only truly exists in the studio environment. Now, we have four do you enjoy questions. So, do you enjoy Exercise. Do you enjoy exercise? Do you enjoy cooking? Hmm. Or do you enjoy to cook? I suppose to say, do you enjoy to cook? 
implies that you are the one doing the cooking. Whereas, do you enjoy cooking? Is a much broader question that could also be aimed at the uh, consumption, not necessarily the creation. But, do you enjoy to dance? Mm. Do you enjoy to dance? Of course, this doesn't have to be a serious uh, rehearsed dance routine. It, of course, can be whichever form you enjoy. And now, do you enjoy to sing? Mm. Do you enjoy to sing? And once again, this doesn't have to be good singing. It doesn't have to be a professional level. It's just, do you enjoy to sing? Mm. And now, the question I shall leave you with. If you could do one thing, anything, every single day for the rest of your life, what would it be? If you could do one thing, anything, every single day, for the rest of your life, what would it be? Hmm. I hope you enjoyed this session. Just trying this mic out for something just a little bit different from time to time. Perhaps we shall see. I do hope you will take care, and I hope to see you sometime soon. Hmm. Cheers. <laughs>